the question is so that for the function f z is equal to x cube minus y cube plus i x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square with f0 is equal to 0 cauchy riemann equations that is cr equations are satisfied at origin so for this question if f z is equal to u plus i v is a complex valued function then cr equations at origin are del u upon del x at origin is equal to del v upon del y at origin and del u upon del y at origin must be equal to minus del v upon del x at origin. So in this question we have to show that both of these equations are satisfied at origin. Here u and v these are the real and imaginary part of the function. So first of all we have to find the real and imaginary part of the given function. The given function fz can be written as fz is equal to x cube minus y cube upon x square plus y square plus i x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square. Here the real part of the function is x cube minus y cube upon x square plus y square and imaginary part is x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square. Let us represent the real part by u and imaginary part by v. So the real part of fz that is u will be given by uxy is equal to x cube minus y cube upon x square plus y square and imaginary part is given by v x y is equal to x cube plus y cube upon x square plus y square. In this question we have to find the partial derivative of u and v at origin only. So we have required the value of u x 0, v x 0, u 0 y, v 0 y, u 0 0 and v 0 0. u x 0 will be obtained by putting x y is equal to 0 in u x y. v x 0 will be obtained by putting y is equal to 0 in v x y. Similarly, u 0 y will be obtained by putting x is equal to 0 in u x y and v 0 y will be obtained by putting x is equal to 0 in v x y. So, find the, these values we will get u x 0 is equal to x cube upon x square that is equal to x. v x 0 will also be equal to x. u 0 y will be equal to minus y because when we will put x is equal to 0 this will become 0 minus y cube upon y square that is equal to minus y and uh, v 0 y will be equal to minus y. Now the given function f 0 is equal to 0 that is the value of the function at origin is equal to 0. It means its real part and its imaginary part, part both are equal to 0 at origin. So f 0 is equal to 0 it means u 0 0 is also equal to 0 and v 0 0 is also equal to 0. Now we will find the value of partial derivative at origin directly. Del u upon del x at origin is given by del u upon del x at origin is equal to limit x tends to 0 u x 0 minus u 0 0 upon x. Here u x 0 is equal to x u 0 0 equal to 0. So the value of partial derivative del u upon del x at origin will be equal to limit x tends to 0 x upon x and it will be equal to 1. Now del v upon del x at origin will be equal to limit x tends to 0 v x 0 minus v 0 0 upon x. This is the formula for del v upon del x at origin. v x 0 is equal to x, v 0 0 is equal to 0. So it will be equal to limit x tends to 0 x upon x and it is also equal to 1. Now formula for del u upon del y at origin is equal to limit y tends to 0 
u0 y minus u00 upon y the value of u0 y we have found is equal to minus y so this limit is equal to limit y tends to 0 minus y upon y and it is equal to minus 1 now del v upon del y at origin its formula is limit y tends to 0 v 0 y minus v 0 0 upon y the value of v 0 y is equal to y so del v upon del y at origin is equal to limit y tends to 0 y upon y and it is also equal to 1 now what we see that uh, del u upon del x at origin is equal to 1 and del v upon del y at origin is also equal to 1 so both of these are equal and del v upon del x at origin is equal to 1 and del u upon del y at origin is equal to minus 1 so we can say that del u upon del y at origin is equal to minus del v upon del x at origin and this is that we have to prove these are the CR equations at origin.